plant are up for sale. The crews are working to clear the plant out during a four-day online auction before the building is demolished. The auction site says there are hundreds of bidders from at least four different countries. They can bid on everything from robots to spare parts and overhead cranes. For people who live in Janesville, those items represent nearly a century of GM's history in their town. Our Rock County reporter Jenna Minaw tells us why a local business owner wanted to take something home from today's auction. Andrew Sigwell's Zach's 411 Club is well known around Janesville. Oh, it's a neighborhood bar. But it wasn't always. Sitting right next to the former General Motors plant, this bar used to exclusively serve GM employees. We weren't open on the weekends. We weren't open when they were shut down. We were open when they were open. But after the plant closed nearly 10 years ago, business changed, and Sigwell has been trying to find a way to commemorate GM's history here as demolition of the plant begins. Socks for 11 Club has been here since, and been in my family since 1961, so it has a lot of heritage towards that place. So when he heard about the online auction that started Monday with thousands of former GM items up for sale, he did something a little crazy. So I purchased a robot from there. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you heard that right. It was very impulsive. Sigwell bought a robot. And I'm going to place it out in front of the building and just let it age with time. The 5,000-pound robot cost only $200. It's going to cost more to move it over here. <laughs> <laughs> but Sigwell says it's well worth it to be able to hold on to a piece of GM even after something else stands in its place. I just thought it would be a nice memory. In Janesville, Jenna Middaw, WISC News 3. Sigwell says he'll probably get his robot sometime next week. The online auction goes through Thursday, and we do have a link on our website, channel3000.com, if you want to register to bid on an item.